Hello, this video is to introduce staff to our new phone system and walk you through setting up a soft phone on your MacBook Air. A soft phone is a piece of software, also known as an app, that will run on your MacBook Air and is used to make and receive both internal and external telephone calls. This essentially turns your MacBook Air into a phone that can be used anywhere that you have a working internet connection. The app that we will use as a soft phone at Leangatha Secondary College is called 3CX. It's worth mentioning that there is also a 3CX soft phone app that can be installed on your smartphone. Staff can choose to use this instead of or in addition to the 3CX app on their MacBook Air. This means you'll be able to make and receive work calls from your smartphone. We'll provide more information about the soft phone version of the 3CX app soon. We are asking each staff member to provision the 3CX app on their MacBook Air by following the brief instructions that I'll walk you through in just a moment. If the 3CX app isn't open and running on your MacBook Air and someone attempts to call you, the call will be diverted to your personal voicemail account. If the caller chooses to leave a voicemail message, the message will be sent to you as an audio file via email. You can make and receive phone calls using the internal speakers and microphone on your MacBook Air, or if you choose, you can plug in a headset. Okay, let's get the 3CX soft phone app up and running on your MacBook Air. First of all, we'd like you to find and click on the self-service app. There's an icon for this uh, located in your dock. Once you've found the self-service app, we'd like you to click on it to launch it. Once the self-service app has launched, we'd like you to find and click on the bookmarks link in the left-hand navigation pane. This will show you a list of bookmarks. We'd like you to scroll through the list of bookmarks and find the bookmark called Softphone 3CX. Once you've done that, let's click on the open button. This will launch your default browser. In this case, it's Google Chrome. We understand most staff at Leangatha Secondary College are already logged in to Google Chrome with their Leangatha Secondary College Google account. So we can go ahead and click on the or sign in with Google button. If you aren't signed in with your Leangatha Secondary College Google account, you'll be prompted to enter your Leangatha Secondary College email address and password. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll see the 3CX web client. We recommend that you use the 3CX desktop app. To provision the 3CX desktop app, we'd like you to find and click on the Apple button in the left-hand menu. You'll now be prompted to um, select which flavor of 3CX client. We would like you to look for the desktop app section of this prompt and find the provision button. So let's go ahead and click on the provision button underneath the desktop app section. You will now be prompted to open the 3CX desktop app. We'd like you to go ahead and click on the open 3CX desktop app. You'll now be prompted to uh, open the 3CX desktop app. You'll receive a warning here that tells you that the app has been downloaded for the internet from the internet and it's checking to make sure that you really would like to launch this app. So we'd like you to go ahead and click on the open button. Alrighty, so now we've opened and successfully provisioned the 3CX desktop app. This is the 3CX app right here. Next, we'd like you to find the 3CX um, icon that's located in the dock, and we'd like you to right click on it Go to options and say, keep in dock. And then next, we'd like you to go back to the dock, find the 3CX desktop app icon, right click on it, go to options and say, open at login. This will ensure that the 3CX icon stays in your dock and the 3CX app opens when you um, log into your MacBook. Alrighty, so I'm gonna quickly um, dial my extension number from another phone and we'll see what it looks like to receive a call using the 3CX desktop app. So you can see here that there's a prompt 
that's notifying you that there is an incoming call. You'd simply click on the green answer button or you can reject the call and send it directly to voicemail. To place an outgoing call, you can use what's called the dialer. You can access the dialer by clicking on the icon of a telephone here in the 3CX app. This will open up the dialer. In the section where it says name or phone number, uh, you can click in there and you can search for any of the staff members to make an internal call. So I'm going to search for Gabe. So if you wanted to call Gabe, we'd click on Gabe's name here. Uh, or we can search for a room like the staff room. And we can see there that the staff room is currently available. Or we can simply enter a telephone number here. And once we've entered the telephone number, we'd simply click the green uh, telephone icon here to make the call. So let's uh, delete this number here and we're going to try and call the staff room. So we're going to find the staff room here and we're going to click on staff room. The first time we either make or receive a telephone call using the 3CX desktop app, we'll be prompted to provide the 3CX app with access to the MacBook's microphone. So it's important that we click on the OK button to provide microphone access to the 3CX app. So let's go ahead and click on OK. All right, so it looks like the first call didn't quite go through there because of that prompt. So we're gonna type in staff room here. We can see the staff room is available. We'll click on it once and off we go. We're now calling the staff room. To end the call, we would simply click on the hang up button. All right, so we've successfully made our first call using the 3CX app. So we have successfully provisioned the 3CX desktop app on your MacBook Air. We've had a quick look at how to answer an incoming call and how to make an outgoing call. We can now close the dialer and close the 3CX app. And we can see at the top of your screen that uh, we can quickly get to the 3CX desktop app by clicking the uh, 3CX desktop app menu item here and clicking on the open 3CX desktop app. This will bring us back to the 3CX app. So like I said, this needs to be open and running on your MacBook Air to be able to make and receive phone calls. We can go ahead and close the app here and we can see that it's still running because there is the little black dot underneath the 3CX icon in your dock. So it's safe to say that the 3CX app is still running. If somebody does attempt to call me now, um, we'll see a notification that there is an incoming call. That wraps up the brief introduction to the 3CX soft phone app. We understand that the use of a soft phone is a considerable change in the way we have traditionally made and received phone calls at Langatha Secondary College. We are genuinely looking for feedback, so please be in touch with us. The ICT team is here to assist. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you need a hand. Support at leonsec.vic.edu.au or leangatha.sc forward slash live chat or pop in and have a chat with us in our office. We aim to create some more short video clips that will guide you through using the new 3CX soft phone app on your MacBook Air. We hope you enjoy using the new 3CX soft phone. Thanks for watching.